Okay, so let's balance this equation for uh, Medea who asked about it. It's a good equation. I like this. We'll count the atoms up first and we'll balance it. We have two nitrogens, four hydrogens, plus we have these two here. Count those. Six hydrogens, two oxygens. On the product side, we have the two nitrogens, two hydrogens, and one oxygen. I could try to balance the hydrogens by putting a three here, but I think I'd rather try to get the oxygens to be an even number. That's often a really good strategy. So if I put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, it gives me four hydrogens, but one times two, that'll give me two oxygens. So these are now even, and that's often really useful. Problem is that this is four and this is six, so it can't be two, it has to be a bigger number. I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna double this. So instead of two, I'm gonna put a four here. And then I need to update these numbers here. Let's see what that does. So I have nitrogen's the same. Two times four, that gives me eight hydrogens. One times four, that'll give me four oxygens. I can work with that because I could put a two in front of the hydrogen peroxide, the H2O2. For the oxygens, two times two, that equals four. And then we need to update the hydrogens there. We have four hydrogens plus we have two hydrogens times two. That gives us four. Whoa, that gives us eight. And this equation's balanced. I think I got lucky here because if I went with the three at first, I don't know where that would have taken me. But in this case, we got the oxygens to be even. We saw that we didn't have enough hydrogen, so we just doubled that, kept that even number, and things just worked out. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for N2H4 plus H2O2. This is hydrazine plus hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for watching.